Hello students, this is ISI 2020 MCQ solution part 4. Okay, so this question is 19. A, B, C are distinct odd natural numbers, then the number of rational roots of the polynomial x square plus bx plus c. Okay, so there are rational roots of the polynomial ax square plus bx plus c obviously so if root over b square minus 4ac is rational it is only possible when the discriminant is a perfect square that is b square minus 4ac is we can take it like d square it's a perfect square so 4ac equal to b square minus d square so that is b plus d b minus d so we can observe that d if, uh, this d is odd so hence b minus d and b plus d both are even so now ac equal to b minus d and b plus d so both are odd so b minus d we can take uh, b minus d by 2 we can take it as 2k plus 1 and this is like 2l plus 1 so but b equal to 2k plus 2l plus 2 in this way in this, so which is not possible hence answer is 0 so then there is no rational root okay now this is about a subset and planes so I will look to the question Okay. And then given that A, B, C are the finite subset and A, C equal to A union, B union, C, assume that there is no points of S are collinear and assume that each of A, B, C has at least three points. So which of the following is true? Okay. So there exists exactly a triangle, triangle, there exists a triangle having vertex and there exists uh, two triangles having both having the vertex A, B, C such that the triangles does not intersect. So here it's a theoretical structure, not much of a maths involved. So net n be the uh, minimal number of points, minimum number of points in uh, of S uh, that can be in the interior of a triangle. That can be interior. Uh, that has a vertex from each of vertex from each of A, B, and C. So now such triangle ABC where A belongs to A, B belongs to B and C belongs to C in this way. So let N greater than or equal to 1. So X belongs to S be the inside of the interior of ABC. So without loss of generality assume. So we can say that X equal to A prime belongs to A. So then A prime BC. So A prime BC has less than N points of S in its interior. Okay. So which is impossible? Listen to this part properly again. So if A dash BC has less than N points, so S is in its interior which is impossible. So N equal to zero so there exists a triangle having a vertex from abc that does not contain any point of s in its interior so 20 is being done answer is a next it's a small question quickly we can solve it please have a look into it so shubhangi thinks she can so let's see what shubhangi thinks so she can be allergic to bengal gram and takes a test that known uh, to have given other following results for people who really uh, to do have the allergy the test says yes on a 90 percent of time for the people who do not have that allergy then so 15 percent wrong 12 percent of the population said the allergy and subhangi says test says yes then the chances that the subhangi does really have the allergy okay so let a equal to yes a is zero is shubhangi has allergy h1 does no allergy so h0 is given 0 0.02 h1 98 percent 0.98 a given h0 is 0 0.9 a given h1 is 0 0.15 
so by the base rule we need to find out base theorem a is 0 given a so p of a given a is 0 into probability of a is 0 by probability of a given a is 0 into probability of a is 0 plus probability of a given h1 into probability of h1 okay so now if we calculate this this is 0 0.9 into 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.9 into 0 0.02 plus 0 0.15 into 0 0.98 okay so once calculation is been done you can see it this is 18 by 165 or 6 by 55 so the answer is b correct next one So if sine equal to this, then cot x, okay. So here we need to apply a little bit of formula, the good old formula. Let's see. Okay. So let alpha equal to tan inverse x and beta equal to sine inverse root over 13 by 17 then minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 both alpha and beta will exist so tan alpha equal to x sin beta equal to root over 13 by 17 so sin alpha equal to cot beta equal to cos beta by sin beta so cos beta equal to 1 by root over sin squared beta so that is 2 by root 17 once it is been done, so now we can go to the sine alpha part that is equal to cot beta that is equal to 2 by root 13. So cos alpha equal to 1 by root over sine square alpha that is 3 by root 13. So x equal to tan alpha 2 by 3. So hence the answer is b. Next is 23, it's about a permutational structure. So if we, if the word itself is permute, okay, uh, is permuted in all possible ways and the different resulting words are written down in alphabetical order, all known as the dictionary order irrespective of whether the word has the meaning or not then 720th word so putting the letters of the permute in the dictionary order the first one e e m p r t u that's the word so since the last six letters are distinct okay one two three four five six last six are distinct so six factorial 720 permutations do not change the position of the first letter and include all possible permutations of last six then the 720th word is definitely by the last of the given dictionarical meaning of the permutations which has to be e m p r t u or that is e u t r p m e so seeing the options we can say that option number B is correct. Next one, the points are given. A little bit of coordinate things are here. Four seven one one two minus one minus one minus two minus one and two three minus one in the RQ are the vertices of a rectangle which is not a square, rhombus, parallelogram, or trapezium. So all four points belong to the plane z equal to minus 1. So that denote a equal to 4, 7, minus 1, b equal to 1, 2, minus 1, c equal to minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, and d equal to 2, 3, uh, minus 1. You can take it. So we can find out a, b. So that is minus 3, minus 5, 0. That is equal to d, c. 
and AD will be minus 2, minus 4 and 0 that is equal to BC. So vertices of AB and AD are not orthogonal and of different lengths. Not orthogonal of different lengths, a parallelogram which is not a rectangle. Next one, let f and g are the functions on the real line such that both f, g and g, x and are differentiable, then which of the following is false. Okay. Have a look. On a real line, so fx plus gx. Okay, let's solve it now. So fx. 1 and 0 2 values where x positive and where x negative gx also in the similar way you can write 0 and 1 x greater than or equal to 0 less than 0 so now fx plus gx equal to 1 so fx into gx equal to 0 these are differentiable so while both fx and gx are discontinuous okay so hence The given structure will give us the answer that obviously fx and gx are necessarily continuous. So 25 answer is C. Now we go to 26. Let S be the set of consisting of all the real numbers that can be written in P minus 2A and the perimeter is also provided. Okay. Now area of the right angle triangle having both lengths so s we need to find out so let x be the height of the triangle okay A equal to x by 2 so s is the set of all real numbers in the form 1 plus x plus root over x square plus 1 minus x that is 1 plus root over x square plus 1 so this thing has to be greater than 2 so seeing this greater than 2 means so this goes to t to infinity so the s is following this last 4 only left so 27 so this we have a non-empty subset a denote the largest uh, number Okay, and uh, fn equal to a belong subset of s l a. Then fn is the sum of the numbers l a while a range is over the non empty subset of s. Then fn is what? Okay, so let l of a equal to k. Then all the elements of a can be arbitrary elements. So 1, 2, dot, 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 k minus 1. It means that then. 2 to the power k minus 1 subsets of 1 to dot 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 a with l a equal to k. Now fn equal to summation of k 2 to the power k minus 1. So now we can compute this value and our job is done. So summation of k into 2 to the power k minus 1 is 1 k equal to 1 to n. So now in this case ddz of z to the power k. This is d d z of z to the power n plus 1 minus z by z minus 1. So that is n plus 1 z to the power n minus 1 z minus 1 minus z to the power n plus 1 minus z and z minus 1 square. So at z equal to 2, we can get that this is n plus 1 whole to the power 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 2 to the power n plus 1 plus 2 so this is 2 to the power n n minus 1 plus 1 so if we see that d is the correct option now moving forward to the next one that is question number uh, 28 okay the area of the region based question
okay this satisfies mod y equal to 1 this point also and x square so the area of the region we need to find out okay so the uh, parameterized region will be given with respect to this and uh, this 2 minus y square less than equal to x less than 2 minus y square so the area is Two minus y square dy, four root two, zero to one, one y by root two square dy. Okay, so eight, zero to one by root two, one y square root y, and this is dy. Now let y equal to sine theta. If we take we take y equal to sine theta, so this will give you eight. 0 to pi by 4 cos square theta d theta so that is 8 theta by 2 after integration sine will be 2 theta this divided by 4 theta equal to 0 to pi by 4 so once we put this value this pi by 4 pi by 8 sine to this so 8 into this so pi and last part is 2 so pi plus 2 is the answer hence C is the answer. So 28 done. Uh, last two left. So let n be the positive integer. So let n be the positive integer. Okay, where t belongs to 0 to n and in this case we need to find out this value. Okay, so let me just write it down. Summation of r n c r t to the power r 1 minus t to the power n minus r so this is t summation of r equal to 1 to n so n factorial n minus r factorial r minus 1 factorial t r minus 1 1 minus t n minus r so n t summation this n minus 1 c r t to the power r 1 minus t a little bit of adjustment has been done so this is nothing but n into t this is nothing but n into t so the option number a is correct time for the last question of 2020 for any real number x be the greatest integer x be the greatest integer f n such that m less than or equal to x and then the number of points of discontinuity of the function and the points of discontinuity of the function gx equal to gif of x square minus 2 in the interval minus 3 to plus 3 so we observe that gx is actually even and gx is equal to minus 2 when x lies between minus 1 to plus 1 so it is enough to find out the positive points of the discontinuity and multiply the result by 2. So the function x tends to x square minus 2 is increasing in the form to minus 2 to 7. So when 0 less x less 3. So x belongs to 0 to 3 is the is a point of discontinuity of g of x. This is only possible if and only if x square minus 2 is given as an integer so the, the so there are 8 integer values from minus 2 to 7 okay so the answer is this will be multiplied by 2 so 8 into 2 16 that's it so we managed to finish it up so if you have any other questions doubts uh, i made the subjective videos as well you can get back to me anytime